Why can't my car lease be excluded if I have less than 10 payments left? I get that question all the time. So a car lease means you're going to turn the car in. Even if you only have less than 10 months of payments left, you have to go back to the dealership and turn the car in. Well, you're going to get a new car. That's the assumption and always will be the assumption or rule of underwriting. So they will never exclude a car lease because the lease is coming up and has to either be renewed or traded in, or you're going to buy a car and you're still going to have a car payment. So when you have a lease and it's less than 10 months, it cannot be excluded. However, if you actually buy a car and you have less than 10 months of payments, it can be excluded because when you buy the car outright, once your payments are done, you own the car and you don't have to turn in a lease per se and get a new payment. So that's the difference between the car lease and owning a car and why it can't be excluded. The only way to exclude a car lease is if you are a business owner and you pay for the car out of your business and it's reporting on your tax return as a business expense. So if that matches up, we can then exclude a car lease from your debt to income calculation. Remember, I'm here for all your mortgage needs. While I do renovation lending, I also do move in ready. So if you're unsure whether you want to get a fixer upper or a move in ready, I can handle both. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more news, market updates, and opportunities to save money.